your next job is a rooftop install, you're probably thinking, hey, this is gonna be just like working on the ground. While you know how to use fall protection on a tower, you also need to be safe on a nice flat surface like this one. We'll find out how next. Here's the deal, when you're high up on a tower, it's obvious you need to protect yourself from a fall. But rooftops are often overlooked as a high risk site. Today I'm here with Brandon Foster. Brandon, I can't use my monkey tails to protect myself, so what do I do? You're right, uh, on most rooftops, a slip over the edge is just as deadly as falling off a tower. But there's a lot more to take into consideration. You need to know the hierarchy of fall protection on rooftops. First, is there an OSHA compliant guardrail or parapet? If not, OSHA requires us to flag a warning line 15 feet from the roof's unprotected edge. For any work done outside the warning line, we'll need to use fall restraint or fall arrest connected to an adequate anchor point. Existing anchorages need to be tested, certified, and labeled annually by the building's owner. Structural members used as anchorages need to be chosen by a competent person. There are also temporary anchorages we can bring with us. If you use fall arrest, don't forget about a rescue plan. Be sure to keep your eye out for fall hazards, such as roof openings, skylights, and access hatches. Make sure these hazards are covered or barricaded and that you have proper PFPS. Okay, Brandon, these rooftops can be a real popular place to put up antennas, and it's a lot easier to get close to hot antennas up here. So RF safety has to be a big factor, right? Yeah, some rooftops have microwave or panel antennas mounted in places where workers have to walk in front of them, exposing them to RF radiation. An RF survey must be completed for FCC and OSHA compliance, as well as identifying zones that are not safe to work. It's best to equip everyone with RF monitors just to be safe. Lastly, let's talk about those lavish penthouses. Penthouses are great spots for mounting antennas. What's the best way to access those spots? Well, they're usually not very lavish. We're talking about small structures that house elevator equipment, stairwells, and other utilities. Usually you need a ladder to reach penthouse mounted antennas. Anytime you use a ladder on a rooftop, you have to be aware of a few things. Establish your tipping zone. If the ladder tips, will it reach the edge of the roof, which may cause the ladder or the person on the ladder to fall. Tie off your ladder. And on the penthouse rooftop, you need to follow the same fall protection considerations as the main rooftop. And what about working on the antennas and lines you see mounted on the wall of a building below the roof? Yeah, edge negotiation is a whole topic for another day. It may require rope access techniques with planning for proper anchors, ropes running over the edge, and rescue from above or below. All of this is much more complex than working from a tower. So there's lots to think about then, right? There sure is. Don't think you can be lazy about safety or fall protection just because you're on a flat rooftop rather than a tower. Got all that? Next time you climb onto that roof, know the hierarchy. Watch out for RF exposure. And remember the additional hazards of using a ladder up here. Do these things and everyone goes home. Stay safe, my friends.